One of the best things about religious studies is that you are forced to kind of think about what it's like to be a different kind of person. You can go through UC Davis as, um, you know, as maybe a, a biology major or an um, economics major and never really encounter what it means to be a Muslim or never really encounter what it means to be an evangelical Christian um, and really have to think about the logic of someone else's life, right, um, or their story. Um, but in religion, you really have to engage with different kinds of people. If you want to understand people, if you want to understand yourself, if you want to understand culture and societies around the world, you really need to know something about religion. So I would say that um, encounter with diversity and understanding of people who are different from you, an understanding of people and what really motivates them. I think when you get at religion, you're getting at some of the deepest issues that motivate people. You know, how do people wrestle, like we all do, with these human things like death and suffering, right? Death and suffering, uh, you know, these things are in relationships. These are things that you can't avoid. You can't get around them. And in religious studies, you get a chance to sort of start thinking about them and working on them. So I, I think religious studies gives you a lot to think about and a lot to work with and a lot of important skills before you graduate. Absolutely. It reminds me of uh, John Kerry, you know, the former secretary of state said, if I did it all over again, this is after he was secretary of state, if I did it all over again, what would I do? I would major in religious studies.